Well, there's Henry, and there's a T-Rex behind him. Stay tuned to find out where we ended up spending the night and what we got to see here. And hey, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you think you are, double check to make sure. Hit the thumbs up, leave us a comment, and don't forget that notification bell so you find out what's coming up next. Let's roll the intro. <music> This lovely campground behind Shenango Lake. Uh, yeah, 1550 electric hookups. There's water and a dump station Enter available. Loop. Enter left. But I'm not going to use any of it actually. I have a harvest host planned for this evening, but they haven't responded yet, so hopefully. They got room for me. Pretty chilly yet this morning, still 66 degrees. Had a fair amount of rain overnight. Kit and I had a nice walk this morning. And we're gonna go do some exploring today on our way to our harvest host. Yeah. That's the plan. Well, that was confusing. They do this in New Jersey, where they have all these jug so North Road toward Lake Road. Then turn left onto Lake Road. Turn left onto Lake Road. Lake Road for eight miles. the fact that uh, we're going to be getting on to a U.S. route means we're no longer maybe in the middle of nowhere. And maybe Sharp left onto U.S. 62 North Franklin Road. and it looks like I'm just driving into a forest. That's 62 North. A lot of trees here in PA. Continue on US 62 North for six miles. Okay, so we are about to enter Polk in a mile. We'll see what that looks like. Welcome to Polk. So does Polk have a downtown or is it just houses? Oh yes, it's got the ubiquitous Dollar General. And a Presbyterian church. street market and a little fire station. I guess that's about it. Well here we are in Oil City. So I think we're gonna basically take a look around Oil City first. And then I think we're going to continue up to the state park. Well, 
Oil City became famous beginning in late August of 1859 when Edwin L. Drake drilled the first oil well and from there on it, oil was discovered in the area. And we're going to cross back over the Allegheny River. So I guess south side is the south side of the Allegheny. Turn right onto Main Street. And north side must be the north side of the Allegheny. Look at this downtown. Cool murals. Then turn right onto Seneca Street. Super Street. There will be heavy rain for at least the next hour and a half to two hours. Turn and, right. And I still have 75 miles to go to my next destination. So it's then like... Slight left. I don't really want to sit here and wait and hope that it's going to stop raining enough for me to be able to walk around and do stuff. That looks like an old train depot station right there on the right. Um, so, I'm just going to give In up half on half a mile, turn right to stay on Allen Street. Unfortunately. Looked like it would have been fun. Not particularly thrilled about having to cross this bridge again. Ooh, lightning. This bridge was super narrow with flying curves at both ends of it, so a little nervous making choosing when to go. Fortunately, not much traffic here. So we're going to have a soggy drive! I went through one earlier today, I don't think I was recording, that was not marked and I almost was going to get out, you know, get outside and look at it in relation to my roof. I didn't have to, I decided it was really okay. Well, this is my first test location. And it said to look for the pond, which I'm not seeing a pond. Well, there's Henry, and there's T-Rex behind him. Yeah, seriously. It's Doolittle's Dinosaurs, Rail Car Pizza, Boxcar Brewing. There's a lot of stuff here, actually. This is a Harvest Host location. I'm gonna walk down this way, I'll show you some more of it. They got a mini golf down here. I don't know if that's still working or not. Go this way. They've got a cafe and creamery down below. Definitely a rail car theme going on here. So, yeah, cool. And it's been pouring down rain. Well, not all day. It wasn't raining when I first got started this morning. Take a look at some more dinosaurs here. Yeah, it wasn't raining when I first got started this morning. 
but about the time I got to my main destination, which was Drake's Well uh, Museum and Park, it was raining pretty hard shortly before I got there and then got harder and harder. And it's been raining for hours and I think it's about to start again. Dinosaurs are only open on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, but they left the uh, gate open here. Oh, look at this guy. Look at him. He's cute. I know. You don't think a dinosaur is as cute necessarily? Well, actually, I kind of do. There's a big one. Oh yeah, and look, way up there too. And just before we turned in for the night, there were at least five RVs parked up there. The pond is that area where the tree is, and it's got a lot of reeds and stuff, so it wasn't real obvious when I pulled in. Not bad for an overnight stay. And hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm glad you did. I appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.